Now to President Biden's big address to Congress last night. Yesterday in a historic joint session, Biden laid out his policy agenda, speaking directly to the American people, touching on the COVID pandemic, also focusing on his plans for his presidency and what legislation he expects Congress to get done. Let's bring in ABC 10 political analyst Steve Swat now. Uh, so, Steve, very interesting. All of his proposals, which are going to cost a lot of money, will this actually happen? Will Congress get on board with this? I think it's going to be a very tough sell. He was able to get his $1.9 trillion uh, economic stimulus through through what's called reconciliation. It's an arcane rule in the U.S. Senate whereby some measures that uh, relate to the budget don't need uh, extra votes, a supermajority, and only 51 uh, are necessary, and he was able to get that bill through. But many of these other proposals uh, will take a supermajority, which means he would need in the U.S. Senate not only all the Democrats, but 10 of the Republicans. And right now, those votes aren't there. Republican Governor, former Governor Chris Christie of New Jersey, after the speech said it was like giving a 15-year-old a credit card with an unlimited spending account. That's what he felt that uh, Biden's proposals looked like. Well, the president has laid out uh, how he's going to pay for all of this. And yes, we're talking about if you, if you put together all of his major proposals, six trillion dollars. What he wants to do is reverse um, uh, many of the tax cuts for the wealthy, for the top one percent. He wants to increase capital gains uh, taxes, those on profits from stock uh, purchases and stock sales to the top 0.3 percent. In other words, those who uh, earn one million dollars or more a year. And so these these are selling really well with the, with the public, not only the, the programs, but also the tax increases. And I think he is bolstered by a recent poll uh, by NBC indicates that 55 uh, percent of Americans want government to do more and only 41 percent want government to do less. So what would happen, Steve, let's say this does pass and it's uh, Americans four hundred thousand dollars and up. Uh, what are the, how are they going to react to that? Because you heard Tim Scott, Senator Tim Scott, say that this is a job killer. Well, that's interesting. Of course, those who earn four hundred thousand dollars or more are going to be upset because they have to pay more taxes. And we're all already getting feedback from some of the very wealthy business owners and wealthy people in the United States that they don't like this idea. But this all comes down to what's called trickle down economics, which was started by Ronald Reagan. And uh, there have been many efforts to lower taxes on the wealthy that have not trickled down to Main Street in this in this country. And the president last night said basically trickle down economics has never worked. Yeah, uh, we did hear that too. Okay, Steve Swat, thank you as always for getting up early with us with your excellent political analysis of what happened last night.